Well, barely had the Congress party recovered from Sam Petroda's comments on Africans in South India and Chinese in Northeast comes yet another comment from the Congress's leader of the House in Lok Sabha at one point of time, Mr. Adi Ranjan Chaudhary. Now, just to put it into context, it was at a press conference in Behrampur where he was asked his comments about Sam Petroda. While saying he doesn't want to get engaged in that, he ended up saying something which has hurt the Congress once again. He used the N-word, which is considered to be racist, while referring to people with dark skin. He talked about Mongoloid features and so on and so forth. And he also said that there is no one who is no one who is Now, uh, the Congress party certainly is uncomfortable with these kind of comments. And it has already told its party leaders that please refrain from making any kind of a statement which is going to give the BJP an ammunition and uh, become very hot to handle for us. Now, in the case of Sam Petroda, he was asked to step down precisely for the reason because they felt that as long as he carried on as a chairperson at IOC, this distancing itself from his comments was not meaning much. His proximity to the Gandhis is very well known. And that was one reason why Rahul Gandhi wanted to send out a message that we don't condone your point of view. After all, Rahul is a member of parliament from a southern state of Kerala. The Congress is in par in Telangana and Karnataka, again down south. Telangana and Andhra Pradesh seeing elections. So the Congress doesn't want to push forward a narrative which makes it sound like many what South Indians are angry about, that how North looks up down upon them. Now, this comment of Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary is something which cannot be wished away easily. First of all, again, he is a leader. He is a many times MP. He is a candidate of the Congress party from Bhairampur, a veteran and a politician, unlike Sam Petroda. Also, he is concerned again close to Rahul Gandhi because he was the one who advised Rahul that go along with the Trinamool, don't go with the TMC, go along with the left and have an alliance with them. Therefore, while it was perhaps easier for the Congress party to distance itself from the comments of Sam Petroda and make that argument that after all, he's not a politician, so he doesn't know what he's saying. In the case of Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, they cannot say this. Well, for the BJP, there's a reason enough to smile. The BJP has often been hit out by the Congress, uh, uh, being accused of being divisive in nature, practicing a separatist policies in terms of distinguishing among people on the basis of religion and the caste that they belong to. Here is the BJP's chance to now hit back at the Congress to say, it's not us, it is you and your leaders who actually make a difference between the mindsets of the people on the basis of their color, on the basis of their facial features. And therefore, the Congress doesn't want to take any chance for reasons which I've already explained. But more importantly, at a time like this, which is very critical, where every vote matters, where every narrative matters, the Congress party certainly would not want the BJP to get this wicket against them. When it comes to Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, again, he has been known to make many comments which has uh, hurt the party or which has given an issue to the BJP, like the Rashtrapatni comment, which he had to apologize on, or his comments inside the Lok Sabha. But will this one be difficult to push away? Will it pin down the Congress party vis-a-vis -vis the BJP on a narrative of being one which indulges in separatism?